Mercy Hospital says the number of COVID patients there remains high. The hospital is treating nine patients with four in intensive care. The CDC is recommending masks and COVID testing at schools since many kids can't get vaccinated just yet. Doctors at Children's Mercy Hospital say that will help take the burden off the hospital. The schools that have implemented those mitigation strategies in their schools. Absolutely, I'm comfortable with that because I think there's pretty good evidence that shows that those work. If we can continue to maintain that throughout the winter, then I think we will feel much better about the slow spread of COVID-19. School districts across the country are back in full swing as COVID cases continue spreading. KMBC 9's Bree Jackson now in our Washington Bureau as cases among young people are rising at an alarming rate. Nationwide, doctors recorded nearly 500,000 child COVID cases in a two-week period. The increase is causing some school districts to make changes just as the school year gets underway. With COVID cases climbing in the classroom, schools are adding precautions. In New York City, returning to school now includes a vaccine mandate for teachers who are required to get at least one shot by the end of the month. City leaders are also encouraging students 12 and older to get vaccinated. Yesterday alone, 1,359 new vaccinations administered in the school buildings. Again, you're going to see that number continue to grow. The start of school coincides with ongoing concerns about the Delta variant. There's no place that you can run from the COVID. Ohio's governor ringing the alarm over rising cases in young people. DeWine says it's clear what's contributing to the spread in his state. There is a higher level of COVID in school districts where masks are not required. While more schools are requiring masks, some parents and state leaders remain against it. Florida's governor says his focus is keeping schools open. Parents in Florida can be rest assured, you know, we're going to make sure you know, your, your, your kids are able to go to school. But outbreaks already forced some schools to return to remote learning. Educators say safety is their top priority. We know what works even with the Delta variant, and that is layered mitigation, vaccination, can keep kids and staff safe and can reopen schools. And FDA officials say they hope that children as young as five will be able to get vaccinated by the end of this year. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson. 5.3 million children have tested positive for COVID-19 since the onset of the pandemic. Missouri's uh, COVID positivity rate continues falling now at 11.2% of COVID tests coming back positive. The Kansas rate remains flat at 9.2%.